Hello, hello. Happy Travel Tip Tuesday, everybody. I'm super excited about being here. I just got off the uh, No Vacancy Live show with Anthony Melchuri and Glenn Hausman, and I am just pumped up. We had so much fun there, and I just wanted to remind you guys that every Tuesday, I am coming to you with travel tips to share with you every week at 12.30 Central Standard Time here in the United States of America for about 10 minutes. And that 10 minutes is just to share the tips, answer questions, and just be here for you, however it is that you need. And the theme for this month, for August, is where hospitality meets health and wellness. And we are gonna talk about some tips about with conventions. Uh, we've got a HOA um, convention. The conventions are coming back and they are here in Dallas in the Metroplex. And so I just wanted to kind of share some tips about that. But for those of you that don't know me, my name is Michelle Maynard MacArthur and I am a hospitality health and wellness strategist that is here to help guide you to a lean, holistic healing approach from the inside out. And that lean stands for lifestyle exercise, attitude, and nutrition, while taking and showing you to those top luxury wellness destinations all over the world. A, a little bit about me as far as it's my why, and my why is that I am a survivor of a progressive degenerative neuromuscular disorder along with depression for over 30 years now. But I get to stand here today with my voice, my voice to share these tips with you. And with that, you may notice some swaying, some awkward ums, pauses. Uh, there's some twitches that may happen, whatever that might be, that's uh, most likely the neurological part. So I just ask you for some grace for that and, um, and just know that I will always get back on track. But a little bit more about me is I am a believer and a mother, an entrepreneur, advocate, and a speaker and world-class traveler. And for MacArthur Accommodations, for those of you that don't know, is that we are a hospitality, health, and wellness coaching and consulting advisement company that specializes in overall optimal health and wellness that creates immunity for life. And that is hashtag immunity for life. I am a international certified health and wellness coach that complements my certification in traditional Chinese medicine, along with a 30 plus year career in hospitality, tourism, hotels, luxury hotels, group planning and site selection. But today, my travel tips are, again, where hospitality meets health and wellness, and the focus is conventions, because we are always, uh, when we are getting back into uh, traveling and attending conventions, attending meetings, sometimes we really just don't think about uh, some of the important things because we're away from home. And so I want to kind of bring some of those tips so that you can carry with you. Uh, and I hope that brings you value. We will be posting these on our blog so you can uh, catch them on our website and follow us on MacArthur Accommodations Facebook page for all of the tips. But Five healthy tips when attending conventions for you are, number one is hydrate. Make sure you drink plenty of water. It's recommended to drink eight ounces of water a day. Limit your consumption. I know caffeine, alcohol, sugar drinks, it's so easy to get caught up in that, but limit your consumption and do that in moderation. Avoid soft drinks, for sure, because that's just going to make you foggy headed. Um, it's going to deplete your energy and alternate that. You got Pellegrino, you got Perrier, you got Italian soda water, and they're all healthy. And sometimes even with the Pellegrino or soda water, I'll plug in a little bit of juice in there just to get that uh, little uh, flavor in there. 
And the day you arrive, go find a store to stock up on bottled water, coconut water, and electrolytes, especially if you're going to be drinking. Uh, you want to make sure that you replenish that. Tip number two is movement. Plan ahead. Plan ahead for the places that you're going so that you know where you're going to be able to step away and take a break at the convention, on the convention floors, if you're going to where you're going to be walking and getting your steps in. So plan ahead with that. Get up and move around. Walking, stretching, exercises. If you are at a big convention center like Dallas has, you are going to be able to really get your uh, cardio and uh, get your heart rate up and take you some good walking shoes so that you can make sure that you can get your stride in. And for local hotels, most of them have uh, great fitness facilities. Take advantage of that, but also inquire about some of the amenities that the hotel might have that are available. They will have like a mat, they'll have some dumbbell weights, uh, they'll have just some different things that you can use, even in the uh, privacy and comfort of your own room. Tip number three when at a convention or even just anytime traveling away from home is make sure that you have nutritious meals. So how do you go about that? Well, you're going to have a balance. If you're coming here, like Glenn said today, he's going to have barbecue, but eat light. Eat clean foods throughout the day. If you know you're going to eat something heavy like barbecue or a, um, a cheeseburger or something, then make sure that you're balancing that out and have at least a, a meal through the day of green leafy green vegetables, lean meat, fresh fruits. The wild fresh catch fishes are always really good. And keep a good supply of healthy snacks in your convention bag and in your hotel room. That way you know that you're not just running over to get something fast food or something quick, that you've got those healthy snacks for you. Limit your consumption of fried, spicy, heavy, fatty foods. Too much starches, too much dairy, too much sugar. It's all heavy, and I call it the sticky stuff. That's all that's going to kind of bring you down, uh, deplete your energy, uh, it's going to cause foggy brain, um, mind racing. It's going to not have you think clearly. So just limit your consumption of that and eat a well-nourished big breakfast. It fuels the brain. It gets your, uh, your body moving. So make sure that you eat a good breakfast. Tip number three when you're at conventions and traveling uh, away from home or is, I'm sorry, tip number four is to relax, rest, and get plenty of sleep as much as you can because you want to make sure that you are recharged. If you're on a five-day convention, if you are just for three days, however it might be, traveling depletes you and it takes from you. So I uh, usually suggest what I like to do is I have an eye mask that's on and some people want to have earplugs to drown out the sound. Those are always some great little um, tools in your toolkit. Also, make sure that uh, you pack some essential oils, the small ones that can be traveled with. And there's pillow spray, such as lavender is really good for relaxing. Uh, orange neroli is good for energy. I love jasmine and rose. Those are some great oils that just are uplifting and relaxing to help you. Know your limit. When you need to relax and rest and get plenty of sleep, know your limit. Don't push yourself. And if everybody's at a party, just know when it's your time to leave the party and when you can have that balance. So you're not completely running yourself ragged and staying out too late. And then you have to get back up in the morning and you're not as productive as you would want to be. And make sure that you have fun. Plan for the emergencies and don't stress about what you can't control. Just have a more free spirited. Try not to, to worry. There's a lot of times that when we've got so much things going on that we're trying to accomplish and get it to one place to another to go see everybody on the convention floor. Just try not to stress about what you can't control. 
The tip number five and the final tip is ground yourself. Find a place, if you're downtown Dallas today, uh, there's some great little parks and places that you can go and get on the grass and just ground yourself with nature. Make sure that you try to do that and step away from your electronic devices, technology 5G. Uh, make sure that you just step away and you give yourself a break for that so you can recharge. Be prepared. Schedule for outside activities and breaks. You can see when you're going to be able to go outside versus being inside all day. So you have that good, happy balance. Participate in the outdoor outings and or some may even have excursions or take a look. Find something that's uh, fun to do in the area that you're going with the convention. That's always a nice uh, opportunity to see what the culture and the flavor of that town and country or place that you're going to is. Locate various grace places. When you get there to the convention center, to your hotel room, uh, scope it out and locate your grace places where you can go have time to be still and just get away and have your self-care. So these are the tips that uh, I have for you, the five tips with uh, traveling and conventions. I hope that this actually brings value to you. You can go to our website to uh, www.macarthuraccommodations.com and take a look. Our services include everything from concierge VIP services, executive coaching and consulting services, wellness retreats, pantry makeovers, and most important, we've got our wellness uh, workshops that are coming. So take a look at it. At the end of the month on the 26th, I'm going to be um, partnering with C.D. Coetzee from 34 Consulting. And we have a fun workshop for you for making help your habit. He is a neuroscience coach that's going to bring a lot of value into going into the cognitive. And we are going to talk about making health your habit and how to be happy about making sure that you're changing your lifestyle and your attitude, the nutrition and the movement of what's involved. This is going to be an eight week uh, series of a workshop. We do have 12 and 24 week series. So whatever it might be uh, specifically. And we also have day uh, workshops if you'd like that under our services on our website. So please comment, like, and share um, on this post of if, if there's been anything that's brought you value. And let me know if there's something that uh, within where hospitality meets um, health and wellness with traveling, anything that you would like to um, hear about next week or even a topic for September. So thank you so much for joining. I wish you all a remarkable, productive, prosperous day. God bless you.